Well, we didn't run it very well. You know, I thought the first drive was some good stuff going on there. Just didn't finish uh, finish that drive off. And then, you know, whether it's pressure or one guy here in a, in a run game and then, you know, trying to get the, the, the football off, you know, it, it was a struggle. And defensively, I thought, you know, there were some good things and then you know, gave up too many third down conversions and, and, and gave up a, a next play screen. Uh, no, I don't want to, you know, I mean, you have to look at it every, every game is a new game. Uh, it's got his own issues. You put everything that you have into it each week to try to get ready and to prepare. And then, um, you know, today, you know, it was just a, just a run game and being able to, to extend drives and then, you know, didn't finish those two opportunities in the red zone. Had one uh, coming back there later on. It just too many, too many drives in between red zone visits. Whether it was our ability not to block pressure, or you know, guys on the backside, or communication, uh, Dylan kicked over there to left tackle early on, and you know, Ruppy went in there at right guard. And, I mean, it's probably usually just you know, one guy each time. You know, had a couple nine-yard runs, and you know, just couldn't sustain. Went from you know, second and one or two to you know, second and seven, second and twelve, like. So, you know, not going to you know, do very well Coach, working that. Those red zone visits that you did have to the nine-yard line, what continues to happen? We, I think we dropped the pass, but I have to look at it. I mean, I think we I dropped think one. Sack. I'm sorry? I, I said, I think there was a sack on one of them, too. But sure. Know. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I, sacks are probably either pressure or we you know, didn't block the guy. And um, without having watched it, I mean, you know, I know, know we had – Chig there on the front line, and then I saw the ball up in the air, so I don't know what happened after that. What's Will supposed to do with people bearing down on him so consistently in situations where he needs to You mean like just other than throw it down the middle of the field there late in the game or not, you know, nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing, Paul. There, there's nothing that, you know, other than to, to, to look for an outlet you know, where you could, you know, find a check down uh, if available. Um, you know, you don't want to get a grounding. I think those are, you know, things that we would always talk about, you know, if a play would break down to make sure you're, if you're outside of the pocket, that you're getting the, the pass um, across the line of scrimmage. Or if you're not out of the pocket, it has to be, um, you know, in the area or vicinity of an, of an eligible receiver. So. You know, I mean, there's times where there was a good pocket and we missed a guy, and then there was times where we didn't protect him and, you know, don't have much of a chance, you know, either. How is this group so consistently unable to provide pass protection that you need in order to play? Well, just a few weeks ago, we, we had some pretty good pass protection and, you know, didn't, didn't necessarily have it today, and it's because you can't stay balanced. You know, when you have some longer opportunities, um, you know, that forces them, allows them to, to get going, to rush the passer. But you know, I think if you can stay balanced and you can run the football and you can keep it in, you know, on schedule and keep it in third and manageable, you know, you have an opportunity. You consistently praise the effort the team puts forward. Did you feel like you get great effort from these guys today? Um, well, again, without watching the tape, I think that, you know, effort is, is not about execution. I mean, we didn't, didn't have – don't – I don't want to confuse those two when I talk about this here in the next minute or so, but um, we'll have to watch. I don't know. I know Chig came back and tried to help and, and, and get a block uh, when Tajay turned up field. Uh, I saw guys blocking out on the perimeter. I don't know if the ball broke. Um, you know, defensively, I, and we're trying to chase the ball and you know, weren't able to get the guy on a long screen. And But if you're asking me if, you know, we got beat by a guy. I think that's different. Effort and execution are different. If the preparation is good and the effort is good, how can the execution be so good? This is this fifth question in a row. So anybody else, Gentry, you got anything that you would like me to touch on here? Uh, given the issues moving the football, yeah. what went into some of the decisions on fourth down? The kick, there was one early on the ball, one in the other one to make it to 
Yeah, I just felt like we tried to get, needed to get some points there um, just to try to keep it to score. Was going to go fourth and one was going to go. Um, and unfortunately, we, we didn't get the first down and didn't. But, you know, that's, that's where I was at. You know, early on, it was just about, you know, felt good about Nick making it and, uh, and, and finishing off with some points. So I'm not, you know, again, can second guess the, every decision. Nick's been really, really good for us, hasn't missed one up until today. Um, but it was about just trying to get some points. And, you know, at that point in the time in the first half and then second half was to try to keep it a, you know, get it to a, you know, manageable score if we could get a stop, two scores. Well, we don't have really had no choice. You know what I mean, so, some of these things we have, you know, zero choice. You can, you know, you know running out of bodies to put anywhere at you know, DB or something. To that point, how is uh, Dylan? I don't know. I see, you know, probably still in protocol. Wasn't able to come back. If the execution, if the if the preparation is good and the effort is good, how is the execution? Well, every game is different. Every play is different. I think you, you, know, you look into the, you know, the matchup, or you know, it, it, it was it was it scheme? Was it a mistake? You know, mental error, physical error, all those things that we talk about after the season. When you look at, you know, some of those X plays. You know, so, you know, they hit a screen on us. Um, you know, we weren't ready to go. You know, we're pressuring over to that side. So I would say that that was. You know, just us not being ready to go. If Mike Evans beats a corner, like Mike Evans is you know, a good player. So we either, you know, got to play a different coverage or, you know, do some different things. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to evaluate. There were some high, I thought early on, maybe a couple high passes and some that should be caught. And, you know, nobody was good enough starting with the head coach. That's how it goes. Felt like we had a good week, but, it, you know, this is the only day that matters. This is the only day that matters. This is the day that we got to be great, and uh, and we weren't good enough. I'm not focused. We're focused on one week. We're gonna make the corrections and sit there and look at these records. Uh, that that won't get us back. Uh, that won't help us win. Um, so we can't we can't sit there and do that and dwell on uh, what our record is. I mean, we have to focus on improving and, and finding a way to win. What's that? Do you feel like that's been happening at all? No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be three and six if, if it had. Um, no, I don't think, I, I hope not. I don't know. I mean, we have to acknowledge it, but, you know, we certainly have to recognize, you know, what it is that, that got us to that point and, uh, you know, try to, try to be better. Try to be better the next week. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I like the fact that, you know, we, we hit a play action pass for however many yards on the first play and, you know, we reversed the Tajay that could have scored on the second play of the game. And then, you know, I thought there were some other things that, that we had. And, uh, again, it's no perfect call. You know, hopefully we get, you know, some good calls and some, some better execution, which would be you know great in all three phases. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's just tough as an offense as, as a whole. Um, I mean, we just got to do a better job, each and every one of us, looking introspectively what we can do better. I mean, for me, knowing that you know if we have these games where we feel in the flow, if they're they're on us a little bit quicker, then maybe just you know getting through my reads a little faster, getting the ball out sooner. Um, but I mean. Uh, it's hard to kind of change the thought process like mid game, um, but there's definitely things I could have done that could have helped. Could have helped yeah, the guys did have that flow on the, on the first drive and then kind of stalled out in the red zone. What, what came back to Yeah, I mean, it just sucks like getting down there, doing all that work. To then, uh, I mean, we love points. We're never going to turn down points, but we love touchdowns more, obviously. Um, and I got to do a better job stepping up there on that third down, just hanging on a route that was taking a little bit too long, knowing that knowing that I'm off time to be able to step up, knowing that. Probably going to be got rushers coming around the edge, um, but that's an example of how I could have helped us out there. Uh, no, I mean I just tried to do a good job of just feeling what was coming, 
and then when I could feel it um, moving on. I wouldn't say um, my thought process changed too much on, on any of my reads. I, I still had trust in our guys up there um, like you have to. I mean, I, I got to point to the just the one drive that we stalled by penalties and the false starts and just operationally. Um, I mean, we can't have that happen. I mean, we're professional football players. We can't be jumping off sides. And that's two weeks in a row that we kind of got bit uh, in the butt with, you know, early in, the, early in drives putting us in tough situations where that just can't happen. Um, and coming out like that uh, is, is tough. And to, to fight back from that position uh, is not easy. So um, we got to be better, we'll just be a little more locked in. And because uh, we need to use those cadences and things uh, to our advantage in the future. You mentioned stalling in the red zone. When you guys get down the inside the point, that's a dead spot. But how much tougher is it for you guys to execute the I mean, it's tougher in general just because it is less space, obviously. Um, but, I mean, I don't think uh, there's anything that we're doing that uh, you can really point to to be like, hey, this is why we're not uh, executing down there. It's, it's all of us. It's all 11. We all need to do better, like I said. Um, we just need to be, pay attention to little details and be locked into what we're trying to get out of out of plays, out of protections, out of concepts, the different games that we're going to be facing, the different pressures, the different looks. Um, I just think we can do a better job of all being on the same page there and uh, and playing more freely when we do know exactly what's going on around us. Mike said it's tough to evaluate things when you're particular under as much pressure as you are. you feeling like you're having a hard time doing that as well? Uh, no, I'm just trying to do my job. And uh, I mean, if there's pressure, there's pressure. It is what it is. I'm taking one play at a time, uh, get up, and just look to play, run the next play, execute. So. Um, no, I mean, it's part of the game, and I uh, just got to take what they give me and make the right play. Well, can you talk to some specifics maybe about what it's going to take to keep this running game going? Just work. I mean, we obviously have been uh, mixing a lot of guys up front. So, I mean, just having some cohesiveness in the unit and just having those guys really gelling and, and leaning on each other and having, uh, you know, confidence in the dude next to them, um, I think. Uh, there's going to be some opportunities for, for different dudes to, to step up. We don't know who those dudes are going to be, but uh, I think we got to we got to find our core and we got to we got to come together as a unit. There was a good stretch between target score for DeAndre Hopkins. What was happening there, and how was the interaction with him just as far as you wanting to get him the ball, and him wanting you to get the ball? And how was that conversation? Uh, I think it was just what we saw within the game as the game was going on, the different throws that we thought were going to be available to us, and then thus. Maybe tweaking some plays or, or changing his route a couple times just to get him open. So that that, that was nice. Um, but I mean, never going to try to force the football. Obviously, I'm thinking about going his way uh, sometimes, and we're still working on, you know, uh, the chemistry on some of those one-on-one balls that that, that we work. But um, coaches did a good job of making those in-game adjustments to, to make sure that he gets the targets he deserves. They got a ton, obviously, out of Mike Evans. In your best game, you guys got a ton out of DeAndre. You think that's ultimately a recipe that you guys are going to need? I mean, we've got to throw it to the open guy, and whether that's DeAndre or whoever it is, uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, but just sometimes with the, with the flow of the game and the, the, you know, the progressions of the different coverages that we're seeing, just uh, sometimes what we're really trying to dial up just isn't there. So uh, it's selective the draw sometimes in that respect with you know, who's going to be the guy that game. Uh, we obviously every week are going to you know, have our plays for hop and, and have our plays that we think are not going to go to hop. But sometimes those plays go to hop, and sometimes the other ones don't go to him. So. Uh, again, not going to force anything. Going to try to just read it out true and throw it to the guys open. But uh, he's too good of a player for us to not get him the ball. This is the first time in your three starts you were in a position where the defense knew you had to throw the ball just about every play. Just how do you feel like you handled that one-sided aspect of the game? Yeah, just knowing those situations, knowing how they're going to be playing their coverage a little just more differently. Um, again, not forcing it, taking the profit. Um, but, you know, hey, like you said, I mean, Got to get the run game going and to open up everything else. But uh, I think that those are good reps for me because obviously those type of situations are prevalent in any two minute and end of game, end of half situations. So, uh, like I said, you know, you're not necessarily changing your read, but just understanding how it could affect uh, who's open and who's not. Um, so, those are really important reps, regardless of if, you know, it's down two scores or if it's down one and going down to win the game. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It definitely is. Uh, you know, it's, we're not trying to focus on the record. We talk about staying in the river, not worrying about one coast or the other, just staying in it, staying within the system, you know, taking it one play at a time, one day at a time, 
we're going to work, we're going to get in there tomorrow and just focus on tomorrow and dominate tomorrow and not give or don't care about what happened today or don't care what happened uh, the other eight games or other nine games. But, um, you know, we just got to keep doing our thing, keep pushing, come together as a team. This is when teams can falter and break apart or come together and show how strong they really are. And we're trying to prove that we can do that second, second well, one. Tim, how do you feel like your learning process is in real time, like during a game? I think I've, I've, I really think I've been seeing things pretty well. I mean, I, I think there's definitely a few plays here and there in each game that I could point to where either my thought process was a little off or I saw things a little differently and could have helped us up up front in a certain way. Um, but today, I think I saw the throws that were there. Um, I mean, a couple definitely that I want to have back. Uh, but I think that gives me confidence just knowing that I'm not going out there guessing and that I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it and I know the throws that are supposed to be there. Um, just got to do a better job of, of getting them out and completing more.